Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you concerned about chemical additives in ultra-processed foods? In this video, I demonstrate how to make a healthier, reduced-calorie homemade version of a popular U.S. box pasta salad. The price of convenience is a variety of chemical additives added to enhance flavors and extend shelf life. As a result, ultra-processed foods can have ingredients that can affect people with food allergies and sensitivities. This popular brand also contains genetically modified ingredients some people want to avoid. The most likely ingredients are canola and soybean oils. This product provides nutrition facts with and without mayonnaise. And the prepared serving size is 3 quarter cup about 180 milliliters. My goal was preparing a homemade version that was equal to or better than the boxed version. This recipe makes 10 3 quarter cup servings, twice the box brand, but you can cut the recipe in half. You'll need eight ounces of mini penne pasta or other small pasta, eight ounces of frozen or fresh peas and carrots, about one cup of reduced fat or regular mayonnaise, about one quarter cup of diced green, red, or yellow bell pepper, one teaspoon of buttermilk powder, or one tablespoon of fresh buttermilk. If you don't have either ingredient or don't like buttermilk, you can omit this ingredient. One tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese. For best flavor, use Parmigiano Reggiano. 1 tablespoon of grated Romano cheese. Again, for best flavor, use the best cheese you can afford. 1 teaspoon of kosher salt or 1 half teaspoon of regular salt, adjusting the amount to taste. About 1 third teaspoon of ground black pepper, adjusting the amount to taste. About 1 teaspoon of onion powder. About 1 quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And about 1 half teaspoon of dried basil. Some optional ingredients that aren't in the box version are one teaspoon of dried chives or one tablespoon of fresh chives, about a teaspoon of dried parsley, a teaspoon of dried chopped onion, or a tablespoon of fresh minced onion. And if you like foods a little on the spicy side like I do, about a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes or to taste. Bring about three quarts of water to a rolling boil and then carefully add the pasta. Stir and allow it to return to a rolling boil. Cook the pasta about two to three minutes before adding the peas and carrots. This will prevent the vegetables from overcooking and retain their color. Stir to ensure your pasta isn't sticking to the pan and then allow it to return to a rolling boil and cook about five to six minutes or until the pasta is al dente. While the pasta and vegetables are cooking, you can prepare the dressing. In a large bowl, combine the mayonnaise, diced bell pepper, and all remaining ingredients. If you're including any optional ingredients, add them at this time. Stir until the ingredients are thoroughly combined and then set aside until you're ready to add the pasta. When the pasta and vegetables are cooked to the desired temperature, drain, rinse with cold water, and drain completely before adding to the dressing to prevent sogginess. Add the drained pasta and vegetables to your bowl and combine until they are covered with the dressing. You can serve your pasta salad warm or cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate until cold. A three-quarter cup serving of homemade pasta salad made with reduced fat mayonnaise has about 50% of the calories of the boxed version made with full fat mayonnaise. If you use full fat mayonnaise, add 75 calories for a total of 250 calories. Using reduced fat mayonnaise dramatically reduces the number of fat calories. Using herbs and high-quality cheese reduces the amount of sodium by more than 50%. The homemade version has about 45% less carbohydrates while still providing 2 grams of fiber. The homemade version has about the same amount of protein. I know some of you are thinking, how can you cut the number of calories by 50%? 
Part of the answer is that the box version has more inexpensive pasta than peas and carrots. This version has more maltodextrin, a sugar, and salt than carrots, and more sugar than red bell pepper and peas. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.